especially I've always really tried to separate um, from the beginning of me doing porn myself as a person and this person that I play on camera. You know, I think a lot of girls, when they create their porn persona, whatever name they give themselves, that's that's their porn persona, right? And then they go home and their their legal name and that's their like at home persona. But for me, uh, you know, I always knew I wanted to do other things besides porn. And so when I created Carter Cruz, like this brand, it was supposed to basically carry me through other industries. And so I've always tried to make it like Carter Cruz isn't a porn star. I mean, yeah, she is, but she's also other things. But Carter Cruz isn't my on-screen personality. It's me, you know, and the on-screen porn personality is something separate from that, like part of it, but not the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So it just always feels weird to me to basically through my own name as Carter Cruz that like everyone calls me, like even my parents (laughs) call me (laughs) to be like, you know, oh, like flirty and stuff with people because I'm like, this this isn't me, you know, this would be someone else. So when I'm going to a set and I'm like getting paid to play a character, it's like, okay, this is acting. But if I'm at home being myself, then suddenly I feel like this isn't make sense. I I hear you. It's harder for you to separate. Yeah. Your porn persona from like you as a person, like you want to going to set and having the production, having the hair and makeup, having the cameras and the lighting and like having it be a whole thing. Right. It's totally an entirely different experience than just like masturbating in your own home or yeah, like, doing I mean, custom videos where you sit on cakes and, you know. <laughs> and I love that shit. I think it's great. Like, you know, I'm like, oh, fired up for all my friends who are making yeah. bank on OnlyFans. But I'm like, I think I saw the industry kind of trending towards that stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, this this isn't what I want to do, you know? Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, I was never planning on being in the industry for a very long time, but it definitely was kind of like, okay, this is like my kind of my cue to start phasing out because the girls who are really successful and making the best money right now are doing those things. And it's silly to be in the industry and not do that. And mm-hmm. I just thought, you know, I, I felt like it would leave like a bad taste in my mouth and you know, I've seen so many girls who have been in the industry um, that, you know, they leave and then they kind of have this like really negative view of the industry. And I never, I don't want to ever be like that because mm. I'm very proud of my work in adult. I have no shame over it. I think it's fucking awesome. I love all the people that I've met, um, and all the friends I've made. I'm still friends with them. And I want you know, to keep that positive view of it, which can be hard, especially when you try to transition into other things. And, you know, because you suddenly realize, oh, yeah, the stigma, I'm going to face it every day. And so people kind of turn this like, have this negative feeling about it. And I was like, you know, if I force myself to basically create this content that I don't enjoy, and that I don't love, while I'm also continuing to face the stigma as I try to transition into other industries, I feel like I could develop a really like strong, like feeling towards the industry of like resentment. And that's not what I want because I don't feel that way. And I, but I feel like forcing myself, you know, the reason why I did porn was because I didn't want to do something I didn't want to do. You know, like I wanted right. to, I, I want to live life on my own terms and I want to do things that make me happy. I don't want to go to an office and sit there at nine to five. I didn't want to do any of those things. And that's why I decided to do porn. So forcing myself to start an OnlyFans, you know, people always tell me you can make so much money and like, you're probably right. But I just feel like, filming myself masturbate and doing stuff that I don't enjoy doing. I think that I would develop a lot of resentment um, towards the industry because that's not why I got into porn to begin with. So, you know, I just kind of felt like this isn't really my vibe. I'm going to make a little uh, exit from the industry, but I'm definitely not against like I just got hit up to do. I'm going to be a voice in a hentai porn. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.